Hey guys, and welcome back to Sports Design School, where we teach you everything you need to know to create high quality sports designs in Adobe Photoshop. Now, I just want to start off this video by saying thank you guys so much for getting us to 200 subscribers. That's super awesome. I remember when we were first recording videos for this channel, and I was just kind of throwing them up on YouTube wondering like who on earth is going to watch these. And the fact that we're at 200 subscribers as of today really reaffirms the fact that you guys are getting lots of value out of these videos and that these are actually helping. And that brings us back to the main goal of our channel. If you are just now finding this channel and this is the first video, welcome. Uh, but our goal here at Sports Design School is just to make sure that you guys get as much value out of these videos as possible. We want to help as many people get into sports design and become good sports designers as possible. We're not going to create a cool design and then be like, oh yeah, we made this, but we're not going to show you how. We're going to show you how to do every single thing that we cover in our videos step by step. So even if you're just a beginner, we're going to walk you through the entire process. Again, we want more people to become sports designers because sports design is an awesome profession and I think a lot of you guys would love it. And so today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a visor just like this one to a player in Adobe Photoshop. Now I've been scrolling on our timeline on Instagram and if you don't follow us on Instagram yet, make sure you hit the link down in the description and give us a follow on Instagram. But I was scrolling through our timeline on Instagram and I noticed a lot of people have been adding visors to their designs lately and I've seen a couple of different methods of doing it. There's been like people using the brush tool and painting it in or people using weird rectangles and trying to warp it and whatnot. And those things are okay but they kind of look a little bit janky sometimes if not done correctly. And visors can add a nice kind of cool professional photo shoot look to your design if you add it the right way, just like this image here. And so I wanna show you guys how to recreate this completely from scratch in Adobe Photoshop. Now no worries if you're just beginning, this is pretty easy to do. So follow along and we will get you started. So as you can see here, I have this image that I got. I just pulled it off of Google to be completely honest. I'll link it down in the description if you want to use it for practice as well. And I'm going to hide my visor I created. So that's the bef the after and then the before that um, we started off with. And I'm going to zoom in for now. And so you'll notice for our visor we kind of just run right within here. And it's pretty simple to do. So I'm going to start off by just creating a new layer in Adobe Photoshop. You can go down here and press the add new layer button. So that way we're creating our visor on top of our image and we can go back and edit our image later if we need to. And I'm just going to make sure our settings are on path up here in the top left, opposed to shape. And I'm just going to start by opening up my pen tool, like I said, and then you can start by just clicking on one of these points on the inside of the visor here. So see, we're trying to go along the inside of this bar and at the point it matches that bar. So I'm just gonna click just like that. And then we can go down and find the next point and just click just like that. And it's pretty simple using the pen tool. Next, we wanna make the bottom curve of our visor. So I'm just gonna go to kind of a middle point and click and instead of letting go I'm gonna click and drag and that'll make a curved line for us and then I can go on and click this next point right here and then click and drag again we want to make sure it matches up with our visor or with our face mask just like that now a little hack in Photoshop if you're using the pen tool and you've been creating curved lines, if you were to click again, it automatically creates a curve on the next line. But obviously we want a straight line right here. So if you click on your point while holding Alt, that gives you the ability to create a straight line immediately after a curved line. It'll save you a lot of time. I'm then gonna click up here on this corner and then hold Alt. And then I'm going to click on this middle point and just make sure it lines up okay again if you ever have any issues where 
you want to undo it, you just hit Control Z or Command Z on your keyboard and it will undo that for you. So there we have, there's our general, genu general path for our Pfizer. Now I'm just going to go up here and hit Shape now. And you'll see that created, let me zoom out, that created this white shape in the shape of the face mask that we want to create. And so we want to turn this to black because visors are typically black. So you're just going to go into our Layers tab right here and double click on this icon. And that gives us the ability to change the color of our shape. So I'm just going to go down and choose black. And you can see we're already pretty close to being finished with this, but we need to add some finishing touches to really bring our visor to life and make it look real. So I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to try and replicate the lighting that a typical visor would show so we can really make it look like it blends into our image. And the best way to do that with visors, I find, is the gradient tool. So we're going to go over here and just type on the gradient tool. Now, if you don't know where the gradient tool is, just type D G on your keyboard um, and it should bring it up. If not, just click and hold. It might have the paint bucket tool on top of it, but just go over and choose gradient. And make sure down here in this bottom left corner, you just have white selected. And that allows us to go up to our gradient tool and we're able to just choose the white to transparent gradient. Just like that. Now the other thing you're going to want to be able to do, or be sure to do, is there are different types of gradients up here. There's like linear, radial, angle, blah, blah, blah. We're going to want this reflected gradient because that's what's going to give us the most realistic looking light marks for this image. So now that we have that selected, we're just going to go over it and I'm going to click and just drag kind of like that. Maybe a little bit more angled. Just like that. And you can see we have a gradient. And now what I'm going to do is take this gradient layer that we just created and create a clipping mask on our visor that we created. So you can do this one of two ways. You can either go in between the two layers and hold Alt on your keyboard and create a clipping mask just like that. Or you can hit Control, scroll down, and hit Create Clipping Mask. It's really just a matter of your preference. And so you can see this is already a really nice, cool lighting effect. We might want to position that however we want to. As you can see, when you create a clipping mask, it just is completely bound to the area that we created with our visor. I'm actually going to duplicate this so that we can get another light source. And you can do that by just clicking on your layer and then holding Alt and dragging down. And again, we want to keep it within the clipping mask, so we're perfect just like that. And I'm going to click and drag this over to the right side. So we have some really natural lighting effects. And we can turn the fill on these down just a little bit if we want to. And I'm going to turn our fill on our mask down to about 96. And just like that, we have a natural looking mask in Photoshop. Now if you've learned something new in this video, make sure you give us a like. That would seriously help get this video in front of more people. We really appreciate it. Um, we have tons of awesome new videos coming out very soon. As a matter of fact, I'm recording a few today. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of those future videos, including some of the free PSDs that we give away. They're seriously going to be awesome for you guys. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that. Other than that, guys, this has been Sports Design School, and I hope you have a good one.